Well, Mandy, too many educators here in this district have been infected by or exposed to the coronavirus. And because of that, school tomorrow will now begin totally remotely. A little disappointed. Um, we were looking forward to being in person. About 70% of all Collinsville students plan to attend class this year with some days at school and learning from home with their computers on other days. 30% chose the all remote method. After the district learned on settling news this weekend, officials decided education will be all remote for a while. We had a significant number of staff test positive or are required to be quarantined because they were exposed to someone uh, that is positive COVID-19. Also this weekend, the state said several counties, including Madison and St. Clair, were seeing an increase in COVID problems, so restrictions were put back in place. It's kind of upsetting just because, like, um, it's your senior year and it's stuff, it's memories, and it's times that I'll never be able to get back in life. The superintendent is sorry about the last-minute decision. He hopes the all-remote learning will not last long. We're going to hit pause and go to remote learning for three weeks. He says if things improve, they can go back to the hybrid model, which includes face-to-face -face and remote learning. The health department works closely with schools in the area during COVID, sharing information, answering questions, providing data and health guidance, and consultation as they plan for this coming school year during this global pandemic. I'm disappointed because I was excited to, you know, see my friends and, you know, go to school in person. And when students return to the classrooms, the superintendent showed us the reminder signs that will be in place, as well as the bucket of wipes and sanitizers that will be seen everywhere. Now, Freeburg schools had a similar incident last week, so they are going remotely for the next few weeks. Reporting live here in Collinsville, I'm Rocky Madden, Fox 2 News.